So you've got F1 Manager 23, and maybe you're not qualifying as well as you hope. In this video, I'm going to hopefully outline a few tips that I've got for you to maybe bring you up the grid a little bit further than you should be. In this situation, we are in heavy rain, so it might skew the results a little bit, but I'm going to walk you through what I've been doing to try and improve the qualifying results. What I found basically is that if you leave it up to the AI to control the cars, they're not getting the tyres warmed up quick enough. So what I've been doing in qualifying in the run plan is putting the flying laps to two and getting rid of include cooldown laps. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do this this way or you can stick to your traditional way of qualifying with the one flying lap and manually take control of the car. This way, when you leave the pits, you can go aggressive on the tyres. Therefore, you're creating the grip that you need and the heat that you need in the tyres ready for that one flying lap. Now, what tends to happen with the two flying laps is that the tyres on the first flying lap aren't warm enough for at least the first sector. And on the second qualifying lap, on the second flying lap, the tyres are up to temperature and go really, really well up until the final sector, but that final sector is still faster than what you lost in the first sector of the first flying lap. So this is what I do with both of my drivers. Set them up um, to two flying laps and away we go. Now this is a bit of an example I've just set up just to show you it and we'll manage it. Now, I wanted as well to talk you through how I also time what i do with qualifying now obviously if we go into the graph view in the top right you get the weather and it just so happens in this situation the rain is incoming so i'm going to take a manual control of these qualifying laps and we'll see what we can do and it's really important that you check this now if you are new to the game then I'll explain this real quick. You do have the little key there, but the red line denotes the grip level of the track. And also you've got the weather and percentage chance of rain up there. And generally you've got these little pictures there. If you can see them, that's light rain into heavy rain late session. Uh, you've got your car condition also and track details. This is also a really important view because we can see we've got about three minutes to get round and get on a lap. So we're going to get on that really, really quick. And we might get lucky and get a quick lap in before the weather takes hold and it gets wet. Therefore, giving us a better qualifying position. So what we're going to do is go to this view quickly i'm going to reconfigure them for one hot lap like this really really quickly so that they've got the minimal amount of fuel in this shouldn't take long at all albon should be quicker so we're going to send him out straight away and then sergeant just behind like that and we're going to take manual control of them both now, if you want to do it the automated way, do the two fast uh, laps. We're going to take manual control. And what I'm going to do is attack like that to hopefully get the temperature that we need into the tires. Now, we want to be as low in the temperature range as possible where it's not blue. So when it's changed to white over there. So we're just keeping an eye on the temperatures. To be fair, we can we can balance on the fuel as well because we actually kind of want to burn that off, don't we? Because wait, so we're attacking the tires, trying to get that temperature in, and as soon as we get that temperature in, we're gonna be chill on it. Now we've just passed the uh, Haas there, we're watching it for it to go white in the temperature. It's really important as well. I'll show you this. If you come down into the bottom corner here to the tires, 
and info you can see that they're underheating and just above my head you can see when they're underheating the tire performance is like a double down so it's not good at all and the tire wear rate is actually sort of good but the performance is a lot down and we'll look at that again in a moment when it's gone white so i'm wanting to really think it's going to do it at 90s let's go back here have a quick look i think it is so if i could just quickly standard albums like this 95 still attack so we're nearly there with both of them as we're entering the fast lap so i'm going to give them fuel i'm going to give them deploy as well from there you can reduce going to give that to sergeant as well now we may well get some traffic here we're trying to get this done before the rain but as you can see we're into the temperature range we want to be in and we can see here on the tires the tire performance is up and the wear rate is just it's normal right but we're getting the most performance and if they overheat on this lap you'll see that that actually impacts the performance so as i say this is the manual way of doing it but if you want the automated way of doing this then what you want to do is the two lap flying run sort of thing two flying laps on a run and also what i like to do to time normally i do it at the end of the session if you're not going to get rain so i want to do say i want to do the two flying laps i generally add about 30 or 40 seconds for the outlap if i'm automating it because the slow and the weaving and things like that and then i add enough for another lap so that they can get round before the checkered flag and then hopefully do their final lap and the highest amount of rubber on the track so here we go we're coming around now you you watch me qualify 19th and 20th here But there we go that is the lap times there now what we'll do we will conserve them and we will bring them back into the pits and wouldn't it be nice if we got kind of um u2 situation out of this the there you go the rains come okay, and in q1 admittedly aided by the weather probably but we're in p2 and p6 with Williams right and uh, this is just to save I've mocked up but we'll do that again in uh, Q2 and see how we do really interesting and I think this this could get patched this situation um, but the time of recording for me this is the best way for you to do your qualifying I think it it helps you a lot and it's certainly advantageous we're going to do the same thing again um, into Q2. I don't know what the weather is going to be like in Q2. I would guess it's going to be full wet. But we're going to be in a few moments. Confirmed. We're through. P2, P6. And I'm going to put it on to flying laps and see what the weather is like. And maybe even just for demonstration's sake, I'll show you the other way of doing it manage the qualifying session okay so we are again presented with a dry track but i will demonstrate it so even if we go out i'm going to demonstrate it what we've got is the two lap run plan right so we've got the run plan two laps include cool down laps off tires we're on some soft tires and we're good to go now again i would normally wait until the end of the session um so say the lap was one minute 30 i would make that two minutes 10 and then i'd have an add another one minute 30 so then you'd be having what's that three minutes 40 and then to be safe i'd maybe send them out around four minutes and three minutes 50 and then you're getting both your laps in um as late as possible you know but all you have to do now because your run plans are set 
I tend to send my fastest driver out first, like this. And then send the second one out a little bit of a gap. And this is if you're in a bit of a rush, but you still want to do uh, as well as possible. Of course, you could definitely get some traffic using this method. But I don't know if we're going to go through. But it's the second lap now. And see how quick we go. And we're through. And it's just started raining. Now, this is just showing that the AI doesn't get their tyres heated up as well as um, you do manually. Um, and this is just my little tip for doing as well as you can, both if you want to do it manually and if you're in a bit of a rush and you want it to automate it. Just be mindful of when you're sending them out and how much traffic they're probably going to have. But as you can see by these results, it's super helpful. Please do consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel, guys. Thank you so very much, and I'll see you in the next one.